unhealthy is a pretty good way to describe Antonio Brown's mental state. Seemingly every week, every month, we have some sort of story about Antonio Brown and what he did this time, whether that's exposing himself in a public pool, whether it's him throwing a shoe at his girlfriend, ex-wife, mother of his children's head, whether it's getting in confrontations with police, or whether it's his unhealthy obsession with Tom Brady. Because once again, after the Buccaneers' embarrassing loss to the Cowboys, Antonio Brown was very willing to talk about it and talk about Tom Brady and his failures, whether it's his failures on the football field, his failures with his marriage to Giselle, whatever. And in the midst of this, whatever Antonio Brown was doing, just shitting on Tom Brady, he started sharing some things that he thought made him look really good on Snapchat, including him having sex with his current girlfriend and also a picture of of someone who's the mother of his children, who he's not in a relationship with before, who he didn't have consent to share that picture, and now it looks like Antonio Brown could be in a lot of trouble once again. Antonio Brown's Snapchat suspended after leaking graphic photo, Woman Responds. Antonio Brown has been booted from Snapchat, so suspended. He's been banned from Snapchat at this point. After posting sexually graphic material, the former NFL wide receiver was suspended from the platform after featuring incredibly graphic material that appeared to show Chelsea Kyrus, who's the mother of his children. And uh, it's on Twitter if you want to see it. It's pretty much just floating around out there. It's her giving him head. That's what it is out there for you that wanted to see it. Outkick will not link to or share the content. Kyrus released a statement on Instagram, initially claiming Snapchat refused to take it down. This is her social media. Very well aware of what's being posted on Snap. I'm not in control of his actions. I've asked multiple times to have this part of our past relationship remain private, but he refuses. I've reported his page in all pictures. Snapchat is allowing him to repost. They inevitably did take it down. I'm very sorry for any of your kids that follow him and used to look at him as a role model. I don't condone these actions. And as you are aware, I have kids that are involved as well. Um, remember, there was a story about AB just a, couple, just a week or two ago about him sharing explicit photos with his kids. Very well could be this woman and her children. So it might be that Antonio Brown was sending them pictures of him and their mother together. Uh, like that that's the level that this guy's going to right now. He's clearly deranged and clearly he's just completely fucked up. But he has since been banned from Snapchat. Now the reason this is very important is because there's a law here in the state of Florida where Antonio Brown lives. They're pretty harsh against revenge porn, and that's definitively what this is. This isn't the first time Antonio Brown has shared graphic material. He previously shared a fake photo of Giselle. However, it's possible this situation is much worse and a violation of the law. He lives in Florida, which has strict revenge porn laws. The Florida law states, sharing images of people engaged in these acts without the depicted person's consent in an attempt to cause substantial emotional distress is a first degree misdemeanor punished by, by up to 12 months in jail. So I, I don't think Antonio Brown will serve a year in jail for this, certainly, but it's just one thing, just stacks on stacks and stacks of things that you could charge Antonio Brown with at this point. It's a sad, sad story. This guy that has clear mental health problems, but that doesn't excuse anything that he's doing. Let me know your thoughts about Antonio Brown getting suspended on Snapchat after posting these images. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.